Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. This is Rama Vishwanathan. In today's video, we are going to learn one very simple theorem of circles. If at all we have three non-collinear points, what do you mean by non-collinear points basically? Collinear are, points are said to be collinear if they lie on the same straight line, right? Anyway, two points are always collinear, isn't it? If we have two points, we can always draw one line which is pass which passes through these two points. I consider three non-collinear points. That means they are not on the same straight line. If we have three non-collinear points, the theorem states that one and only one circle can be drawn which passes through all these three points. I repeat the statement. One and only one circle passes through three non-collinear points. How are we going to prove it? Okay, let me consider A, B and C. These are three non-collinear points. If at all I have to draw a circle which passes through these three points, is it only one circle which is possible or many more circles? The theorem states that only one circle is possible, we have to prove it. Let us first of all join AB, BC and AC. When there are three non-collinear points, always a triangle can be formed. I am going to draw a perpendicular bisector of AB, a line segment which is perpendicular bisector of AB. We know how to construct a perpendicular bisector of AB, right? Similarly, we will construct a perpendicular bisector of BC and these two point lines are going to be intersecting at one point. Let me assume that this point is O. How do we construct a perpendicular bisector of the given line segment? If at all a line segment AB is given, we will take radius more than half of the half of this uh, line segment AB. We are going to take a compass, put the compass needle at A, draw an arc above and below. Similarly, with the same radius A from B, we will draw and we are going to join these to get the perpendicular bisector. This is the procedure to draw a perpendicular bisector. Here, we are not going to construct the perpendicular bisectors. If at all I draw a perpendicular bisector of AB, and similarly a perpendicular bisector of BC and extend them such that they meet at a point, I name that point as O. Now, what does the definition, what does this perpendicular bisector mean? I have two points A and B, right. Then the definite word perpendicular bisector means I have to choose one line which is perpendicular to AB. There can be infinite li lines which can be perpendicular to AB. Out of all those perpendicular lines, I am going to choose one perpendicular which passes through the midpoint. One perpendicular which passes through the midpoint of the li uh, line segment AB. Now, what are the what is the property of all the points on this perpendicular bisector? I choose any point. I join it to A as well as B, then this distance will be equal to this distance that is the property. We will learn uh, about this in the concept of locus in the later videos. So, that is the main property of all the points on the perpendicular bisector. Each and every point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from these two end points. So, every point on this perpendicular bisector of AB is equidistant from A and B, AB. Right? So, this point O in particular is equidistant from A and B that means O A is equal to O B. Right? I repeat every point on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment is equidistant from both the end points. So, let me assume that this is P Q. So, every point on this P Q is equidistant from A and B. Similarly, every point on R S is equidistant from B and C. In particular, if we consider O, O is a point on PQ as well as RS. So, it should satisfy the condition of all the points on PQ as well as the points on RS. So, O is equidistant from A and B. Similarly, O is equidistant from B and C. Right? So, O A is equal to O B is equal to O C. So, if at all I draw a circle with O A as the radius, O A as the radius, I draw a circle then definitely that circle should pass through OB and OC because OB is the radius and OC is also the radius of that particular circle because OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. That is possible only when these three are equal and that is going to be the radius of the circle. So, only one circle is possible which passes through all the three points which are non-collinear, right? one and only one circle is possible that passes through three non-collinear points. This is a very small uh, 
very simple theorem and this is a very simple proof also right so that is what we have learnt in this video i will quickly repeat what is what is the statement of the theorem one and only one circle can pass through three non collinear points i have given you the definition of non collinear points that means uh, they those three points do not lie on the same straight line when these three do not points do not lie on the same straight line i can draw three different line segments ab bc and ac i drew a perpendicular bisector of ab i drew a perpendicular bisector of bc and every point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from a and b so oe is equidistant from a and b so oa is equal to ob similarly o is a point on the perpendicular bisector of bc so o is equidistant from b and c ob is equal to oc so if at all i draw a circle with oa as a radius then definitely that circle will, will pass through b and c because oa is equal to ob is equal to oc right a point yeah a point lies on a circle a point lies we have learnt when we have uh, gone through the parts of the circle in the earlier videos we have learnt what is exterior of the circle interior of the circle on the circle right if a point p is there p lies outside the circle if op is greater than the radius right distance between o and the point p is greater than the radius then the point lies outside the circle if op is equal to radius then p lies on the circle if op is less than the radius it lies inside the circle using this concept oa is the radius of the circle here oc is also the radius so c should be on the circle ob is also the radius so c should be on the circle isn't it so a b c are on the circle only one circle is possible through three non collinear points this is a very simple proof right in the coming videos we are going to learn about many more properties of circle thank you